Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tonight we're going to be doing a reading for Rihanna. The Rihanna. Now this is something that I normally don't do because I spend so much of my time doing general predictions for the week, every week on my YouTube channel. But when I do decide to do a celebrity reading, it's because something about that celebrity is standing out to me or they just keep popping up in my consciousness. Rihanna is one of those this week. Now at the time of me filming this video, she doesn't have ma any major announcements that it is that I heard her make. I'm not really one to get too much involved in the celeb gossip in that way, but I will say that upon pulling her chart and upon pulling her cards, there definitely is something in the works and I wanna to talk to you guys about it now. So the first thing that has really been standing out to me is the fact that it's like she struck luck this, this year. Now, this year that I'm filming this is 2019, but I'm also seeing the changes and this luck that she's building up currently in her life is going to bleed over into 2020. It could be creative projects, yes because there's a lot of fifth house activity after pulling her chart, and I'll dive into the details of that. There's a lot of fifth house activity that's going on in her life personally, but when I looked at her transits, so much of her currently is very private, and it's pulled back. When it comes to her personal life and her private matters, there is no way in hell I see Rihanna speaking out speaking out loud and sharing the news that's going on and brewing and budding and blossoming within her personal life. There is a heightened focus when it comes to relationships, significant, intimate, one-on-one -on -one relationships. I'm pretty sure Rihanna is in an exclusive relationship with a partner. This partner is going to take the highlight. There's something about activity and new developments and new beginnings that are blossoming and blooming for her for the year 2019 and those developments are going to spill over into 2020 in the best way possible. There is a high chance of pregnancy for Rihanna if she's not already pregnant at the time of me filming this. The day that I'm filming is September 20th, 11, September 16th, I'm sorry. So I don't know where the 20, 20th came from. Maybe she's gonna make an announcement on the 20th. But September 16th, 2019 at 11, 14 p.m. And basically what it is that I'm seeing is a woman who is, who is solidifying her family environment, who's solidifying her personal life, and there's a, struck of, there's a strike of light, of um, luck that she's getting. It almost feels like once in a lifetime, but I don't see it as once in a lifetime. I think that so much of her right now is being very private and very protective for good reason. Again, this is part of what happens when you have the sun moving through the 12th house, which she has that within her personal chart, the sun moving through the 12th house, um, transiting the house of privacy. This is when you really want to pull back your blessings from the you know, prying eyes from the external world, the outside world. These are things that you want to share with your family and your family alone. Now, looking at her solar return chart for 2019, and I have her birthday here, it's February 20th, 1988, 8.50 a.m. in Barbados. I'm seeing a heightened focus again on this intimate relationships, these intimate connections, and finding security and stability within that. This is something that I'm seeing for Rihanna that is really igniting her passion, that she's actually feeling ambitious and motivated to take this relationship and build on it and build on it and put a lot of energy and effort into building this relationship and building this connection. This would be with someone who seems different or seems strikingly different from how it was that she's raised or the culture that she has normally been accustomed to, or maybe they're from totally different backgrounds or different environments. But this difference that this partner brings into her life is something that I, I see would actually be something that excites her, that inspires her, and is something that motivates her and is encouraging and a positive addition to her life. Speaking of positive additions, can we talk about the fifth house? The fifth house is connected to romance, dating, but it's also connected to children. And there is a very high chance that Rihanna, again, is pregnant in 2019, or at least there's a, a potential for a baby to be created or born in 2019. Why is this? Well, because we have this Ver, um, the vertex point of fated encounters falling within her fifth house. Her fifth house is ruled by Aquarius. Aquarius is co-ruled by Uranus and Saturn. Now, if I look at those two planets, 
Uranus falls within the seventh house of relationships. This is the same partner, the same dynamic partner that I was mentioning earlier before. But then also, when I look at Saturn, it sits directly conjunct the fourth house. Now, we always look at Saturn and we think, oh my God, this is the worst planet ever. But what happens is that wherever Saturn sits and wherever Saturn transits, that's where we're going to see some major changes, some major areas of maturity, whether we like it or whether we don't. In this case, I see this as a positive thing, but I also see it as a private thing. When Saturn sits directly on top of the fourth house in this way, at least in Rihanna's chart, what I'm seeing is an addition to the family or some type of change or development that comes into her family environment that she takes very, very seriously. And I see this as a blessing. I don't want to say that it's out of the blue. It can test her personally. It can test how people observe her and pe how people have known her. Why? Because Saturn as it's sitting in the fourth house it's also squaring almost perfectly squaring her ascendant her ascendant is how people the public um, see her and how they observe observe her now her rising sign her ascendant is ruled by Venus at least for 2019 so for 2019 she is going to be seen as a a, a figure of beauty or connected to the um, areas of beauty and we all of 2019 what have we all been talking about with Rihanna but her makeup her cosmetics line so that makes a lot of sense so we're knowing her and seeing her as this public figure when it comes to makeup and beauty and self-love and luxury and money and you know wealth but when she, we don't really see her, or at least I don't think that we've seen her or looked at her, at least for 2019, as a mother. Whatever, I don't see this as a negative thing. I see this as a positive thing. But when Saturn comes in and sets, sits on the fourth house and brings this responsibility into her life that challenges how the world, the external world, can see her, she's definitely going to keep this private. She's definitely going to see this as a blessing. She's definitely going to take it seriously. But, you know, all of these things, as I'm looking at this chart, even Pluto, Pluto is the planet of transformation and totally transforms our life. Well, Pluto is actually transiting her fourth house. So her, her family or the family as she knows it is changing drastically. Usually what this can do is that it can bring endings into the family, meaning like there might be a death or transformation when it comes to the family dynamic, but it can also bring new beginnings, a new birth, because it, it's totally transforming, totally cleansing and totally bringing in, you know, wiping out the old and bringing in the new in ways that is good and bad. And I don't want to say that to be rude by saying like if there is a death in Rihanna's family for 2019 that it's, you know, cleansing that out, but it's in the eyes of spirituality and in the eyes of these cycles and in the eyes of the universe, you know, you're just passing from one life to the next, okay? So that's something else that's standing out to me. The other thing is that I realized that Rihanna truly is a Pisces. I think that in so many ways, she works with this vision and fantasy and illusion in such a, a positive way. But also I'm seeing that a lot of her is connected to this hope and this wish, this idealistic dream vision that is that she has, has for herself, having the best of both worlds, having the best of her career and also her family life. Both of those things are very, very important to, to her. The discussions that she's been having in her personal life are so significant and they're so magical. Again, this is not something that the, the outside world is going to hear or know about because at the time of me filming this, with the sun moving through the 12th house, so much of Rihanna currently is very private and pulled back. There's no way in hell she's going to share these developments, this news, her joy, her pleasure, romance, these things that she's actually experiencing with anybody else that could possibly ruin it and good for her. That's very important when it comes to boundaries um, and the things that it is that we share with the world, especially when you're so exposed. But Rihanna has definitely been hearing some magical news when it comes to her love, her heart, her heart chakra, her crown chakra, and these dreams, these hope and these dreams, these visions. Her romance life and her ability to give and receive pleasure is heightened. Why? Because we have Mercury, the planet of communication, moving through the sign of um, Pisces at the time of me pulling her chart within her solar return chart. And then also, Mercury sits conjunct Neptune, really heightening those things that she hears, heightening the things that is that she's feeling and the things that she wants to express to someone else. Both of these planets, Mercury and Neptune, are falling within the, within the fifth house, the fifth house of creation, the fifth house of dating, the fifth house of romance, and coming together with someone in an intimate way that feels 
joyful, that gives us pleasure for the sake and the sole purpose of giving us joy and pleasure, just because we deserve it, just because we want romance. And that's what it is that I'm seeing within her chart here. The one thing that I am concerned as I'm looking at the chart is the fact that Saturn squaring off with the part of fortune. Sometimes when we see that, it can feel like, well, with the part of fortune sitting in the sixth house, it almost feels like I want to caution her when it comes to her health, but with this card, the clover card here and the anchor here, I feel like there's solid support around her that is working to make sure that she is obviously her best self, her body's physically being taken care of. The other thing is that sometimes when we have Pisces or Neptune energy kind of co-ruling that house, it can create some illusion and fantasy and deception when it comes to this is what I'm feeling, this is what it actually is. So if she does get pregnant or if there is some health related issues, it feels like it's, um, well, I don't want to say below the surface, but it feels like it's hard to kind of put your finger on is this healthy, is this good for my body, or is it not good for my body? Sometimes um, alcohol, drugs, and you know, recreational, even weed, things that are marijuana, things that you know could be healthy for our bodies, these are things that we wanna be careful of. Wonky, they can be wonky, they can infect, affect our body in weird ways. Speaking of infection, there's a potential or possibility for infection with things like this. I just want to put that out there, that that's something that um, Rihanna would wanna look out for and she would wanna watch. Now let me go ahead and move on to her cards. So some of the cards that I pulled are, first these two, let's talk about these two from the Angel Oracle. So we have the card of New Beginnings and we also have a blessing. So right away, I feel like there is a new blessing, a new beginning that is happening in Rihanna's life. And for me personally, looking at her chart and being an intuitive and looking at the cards, I truly feel like this is a baby. I feel like at the time of me filming, she's definitely got some type of bun in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle some cards. If she's not talking about it, if she hasn't shared it, I feel like it's something that will come soon, within a month or two of me talking about this and putting it out there. And honestly, I feel like it could actually be sooner than that. Why is this? Well, because we have um, the New Beginnings card and the Blessings card, but also we have the Knight of Cups. This always brings um, information that's connected to the heart, things that make us very happy. Then we have supporting that. I was asking for clarity when it comes to that. We have Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is all about family and also legacy. So continuing on and carrying on that legacy from one to the next. So we have that. Then we have the connection to the Two of Cups, which is about partnership. So there is a birth, a new beginning, a new offering that comes to Rihanna from her partnerships, from her relationships. And if you remember when I was pulling the chart, I could see how important and significant her intimate relationships, her intimate partnerships are, the one that she's in currently for 2019, how important and special that person is for her. He's definitely someone who is different from her, from a different culture, a different background. We always see that when Uranus falls in the seventh house or when there's some type of connection with Uranus to the relationship partner. I find that such a beautiful thing. And then also, there could be an interesting dynamic or a rare dynamic about that partnership that makes it different and stand out from all of the rest, or maybe it's non-traditional in some way. So maybe they have a little bit of an open energy, but from the looks of the chart, I don't think that it's an open relationship so much because there's so much romance, there's so much intimacy, there's so much softness and vulnerability and sharing and protection from the heart that is coming from the chart and from the cards that I'm seeing around Rihanna. And there's so much of them that is so private and so pulled back that they're not sharing with the rest of the world. So I really feel like this is um, like soulmate connection or intimate relationship connection and romance that is that she's experiencing that she just doesn't want to share with everybody. And I think that that's a beautiful thing and we all we can do is respect that. And I want to respect that because I feel like Rihanna totally deserves it. I think that to her core, she actually is kind of a little bit of a dreamy romantic type of person. And that's something that I don't think that the world might know or see her as, but that is who she is to her core. She really does believe in love at first sight and happily ever after, and that's something that it is that I honestly feel like she's experiencing right now. And now adding on to her family with a new addition is gonna be so beautiful. Now to back that up even further, we have the Hermit card. Some people look at the Hermit card and they're like, okay, we're pulled back, we're in the dark. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes a person can be very hermetic and in the dark, sitting, you know, pulled back away from everyone 
one but really what I'm seeing is so much of Rihanna as much as it seems like it's public so much of her is actually private and protected we don't even realize it so when we're seeing the hermit card I don't see her spending a lot of time by herself I actually actually see her spending a lot of intimate time with people who deserve her one-on-one -on -one time and attention and she's just really focusing on fostering that you know that growth that new blessing that new beginning that is happening in her life that I see within her chart and within the cards now to back this up further I'm really seeing Rihanna my love you know your work is taking off your beauty is taking off your beauty line your um, long your lo lingerie your luxury you know items and things that it is that she brings to the world right now currently but so much of what it is that I'm seeing is um, I want to guide guide you Rihanna to kind of pull back and take all of the stress all of the burden I feel like you've already achieved so much and accomplished so much and even, even as I'm saying this I feel like if she was to hear this she would she would already know she'd be like Jess I know say no more that's exactly what is that I'm doing I don't feel like I have to prove myself because I've done so much but I feel like this is definitely a, a message of delegating making sure that for at least the time being, for right now, the time of me filming and the months to come, focus on your intimacy, focus on your personal life, focus on making sure there's not a whole lot of stress in your life in order to carry, you know, make sure that your, your physical body, I'll say this, your physical body is, you know, strong and that you're feeling rested and that you're taking care of your physical body because to bring another life into this world is so special. It's also so draining, but their cards are suggesting that you take stress off of your off of your heart, off of your body, off of your mind. Um, clear your mind out. Keep life as simple as possible. You don't have to be in everything. You know, turn your phone off. Cancel out the rest of the world. Go on vacation. Stay close to a doctor. Keep your doctors in close proximity to you, because there's this um, you know connection of lightening the load. Make sure your your body isn't stressed out. Even good stress is still stress. So these are things that it is that we want to cancel out, especially when we see the card of the cross and the choice here. These are decisions that it is that she's going to need to make, or Rihanna, you're going to need to make when it comes to making sure that the burdens you're carrying every day, that they're worth it, especially, especially if it really truly is the case that you've kind of had some good luck here when it comes to the baby and when it comes to, you know, creating this solid home and environment for yourself. And this is truly her right now, just totally thriving as an empress, as a feminine energy, as a feminine force force. I see her as a strong, strong individual in the cards and spirit is saying that Rihanna is so strong right now, mind, body, soul, spirit, which is great. I mean, come on, we could see that. And then also I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles coming and giving her an offer. Another information, some more news that might be coming on the horizon for her or information that it is that she is building towards now, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab this deck really quickly and see if there's any additional, sorry about that, if there's any additional messages that Rihanna needs to hear. Well, would you look at that? Is there a baby in the cradle? Why, yes, there is. Mm-hmm. Say no more. We have the card of sun or the sun card here, which is also connected to children and happiness and joy and pleasure and abundance. This card jumped out. 10 of wands, again, Rihanna, this is the same card that it is I pulled earlier in your other cards, and this is releasing stress, releasing those burdens, making sure that you're not physically, mentally, emotionally stressed out or drained out. This is all about delegating. This is all about having other people, I don't wanna say calling the shots, but taking control of the reins while you're focusing on your physical body, your mental body, your spiritual body, okay? And let's pull another card just in case. Okay, so wow, she has repeating cards here, incredible. So we have the Wheel of Fortune showing this new cycle. We have the Hermit card once again, kind of co-signing everything that it is that I said that Rihanna, if you are needing some time for yourself and you need to pull back and disconnect from the rest of the world, by all means, do it. Do it, do it, do it. And take your time when it comes to making announcements, when it takes, when it comes to what it is that you decide that you want to share with the rest of the world. And some things at this point are you're, you're definitely saying goodbye to, especially when we're seeing the Wheel of Fortune card. This is 
the ending of one cycle and the start of a new one, um, a new phase within your life, especially when we're, when we're seeing a Ten of Swords. So, so this is when you have to decide, Rihanna, what is it that you want to put your energy into? What is it that's most important to you right now? And I, as your reader, or as a reader for right now, I think that this is the most important thing. Okay, so that is what I will say on that. Is there any other? Okay, what I do wanna end with is this deck from the Wild Offering. And what is it that she needs to hear when it comes to messages from angels and guides? Okay, so the cards we have pulled here are independence. We have self-sufficiency, and we also have service. Now, when I'm looking at these three cards, what I feel with this is the connection to the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And this is when I think that really, Rihanna, this is about stepping into a space that you're pretty self-sufficient. Things are already kind of you know, building up and taking care of themselves, and that's a part of the service, a part of the work that is that you've done and the things that the gifts that you've that you've given to us you know, all over the world. And now it's kind of time for you to focus on yourself and maybe not focus so much on work personally as I'm looking at this and looking at, you know, the cards that it is I'm seeing here. Um, when I see the card of perfectionism, I see this, it almost reminds me of a Virgo, but it makes sense because she's a Pisces. But this idea of perfectionism where it's like, you really wanna grind sometimes, you really wanna give your best to the world, and I totally understand that, but at the same time, it's really important that family and being around people and being in that hermit state of being around people who are supporting you and loving you and nourishing you and nurturing you because they have your best interests at heart, not because they want anything, but because they want to give to you. These are some things that you really need to focus on and, you know, give your time and your energy to, not so much as perfecting, you know, the things that it is that you've already done. And I think that honestly, by delegating and by giving these, what you've already created to other professionals, you know what I mean? They're kind of like hiring people to kind of perfect what you've already created, what you've already created is going to help um, with these burdens, the stress and this, this stuff that's going on, you know, behind the scenes, things that it is that you're not talking about, this 10 of wands energy and this 10 of swords energy, these things that we need to release. Then we also have the card of patience and loneliness. And I think that this is adding on to the things that bring you joy, the things that bring you pleasure, especially when we're seeing the two of wands and the sun card. This is when you're asking yourself, okay, what is it that's going to make me the most happy? That needs to be my most my main priority and I'm going to have patience as it develops, as it grows, as it builds within my life because I, am I worth it? Of course I am. Okay, so that's the reading that it is that I have for Rihanna. So I hope that, you know, it reaches her at the right time if it does reach her at the right time and I hope that I'm not exposing too much because again, with the sun moving through the 12th house of privacy and seclusion, I can imagine that she doesn't want to share and she hasn't shared, but that's what it is that I'm seeing. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.